here we will be talking about the backward pass and a forward pass or i must say forward pass and a backward pass these two passes on the network diagram is very important because this will tell you the float that we have available on every uh, activity the forward pass is gives you the earliest possible activity earliest possible date when can an activity start and finish without affecting any network logic so whatever the sequence that we have built whatever the logic that we have built we want to know how how much early or as soon as possible we wanted to we can start a project on an activity so it is from left to right then we move into the backward pass backward pass start from the end date of the project and i would we would like to know that if end date remains constant how much delay we can do on an on an activity to activity basis so it identify the latest time in activity an activity can start and without finish without violating any schedule constraint so whatever the constraint that we have built which is the which could be the external or internal or a preferred or a mandatory logic that we have built up built in in the schedule we do not want we will not violating any of it but it will give us that how much delay we can have on every act activity this delay or this float which is early start minus later start will give us the float and we will able to identify whether we need to lead the activity or we need to lag the activity based on the resources based on the timeline based on the day of the day of the week anything we will be able to identify here so this is where i conclude my discussion on backward and forward pass let's see you in the next section thank you thank you very much for your time